Welcome to the Status Network. This video will provide you with step-by-step -step guidance on how you can participate during the Status Contribution period using the Mist Wallet. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a contribution to the Status Network launch using the Mist Wallet. Um, you're going to go through some terms and conditions. You're going to need to read through all these terms and conditions. This is just an example of the draft. Um, you're going to check all these boxes after you read them. I hereby confirm and agree to the contribution terms and white paper. Hereby confirm that I'm not a U.S. citizen or res resident, or nor am I signing on behalf of a U.S. citizen or resident. Hereby acknowledge that the contributions will be used to fulfill the workshop mission, and hereby acknowledge the contributors not receive equity. And then you're going to initial and sign your name, and sign and agree. Once you sign and agree, a contract address will be posted right here. Um, this is the contract address you're going to need to um, copy and paste where you're going to be sending. Alright, so next thing we're going to do is show you how to download Mist. So you're going to find Mist at github.com slash ethereum slash mist slash releases. Um, and then you're going to come here and then scroll down the page to the download section. And I just wanted to make a little side note here that we're going to be focusing on the Ethereum wallet. That's going to be the download that we use. So there's the Mist down here. That's the decentralized application viewer. But the Ethereum wallet is what we're going to be focusing on. So here's the Mac operating system newest um, version. So you just download that. Once you download that, it's going to um, walk you through some steps, a pretty simple uh, setup process after you download and install. You're going to select the main network when it prompts you for that, and then you're going to set up a wallet account. It's going to ask you to put in a password, a secure password, and for you to back up and secure your key store files. You need to pay attention to that because it's very important for you to back all that up. Alright, so after that, after that happens, um, it's going to start syncing the blockchain, and that, on Mist, that takes a while. Um, I would say give it at least a day um, syncing the entire blockchain. It takes up a lot of space, too, but the um, advantage of it is that you'll be running a full node and contributing and helping out the uh, entire network itself. Um, so let's just take a look at what it looks like and what we'd be doing. So right here you'd have an account um, that you created that at first it doesn't have any funds into it you're gonna need to add some funds into it so go ahead and click on it it gives you some different options to add funds into it you can fund it with Bitcoin in the US you can fund it with a credit card um, or you can copy the address so you're gonna go ahead and copy that address to the clipboard um, and then you can send it from an exchange or wherever you've got your ether stored at all right, so next we're going to go over what's going to um, happen when the block time hits. So there's going to be a specific block that comes up that's going to be listed on this page once again, this start block. That block is what you're going to be watching for, and you can watch it here at etherscan.io. This website right here will show you the latest block, um, and whenever it, the network hits that um, latest block, that's when you're going to send that transaction. So what we're going to do right there is when that block hits we're going to hit send right here in the account and then we're going to take that contract address that we copied and pasted and put it right there and then we're going to put the amount of ether that we want to send down here you can select the gas fee that you want to use to transfer it put something a little bit higher there and then you're just going to click send once you click send and everything um, prompts you for your password, you're going to put that password in and then um, you're going to confirm the transaction. Once that transaction is confirmed, it, it should open you up to another website where you can um, watch for that, that transaction. It should, you should be able to go into the Etherscan website and watch for that transaction um, to see if it went through. Um, and once that if that's successful uh, seven days after you've sent that transaction um, you'll be receiving the status network tokens back into your account so that's a, once again it's approximately seven days after the contribution period you'll be receiving those tokens in that same account well that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching for the latest updates please visit our website at contribute.status.im and keep an eye out on our announcement channel in slack you may also refer to our pdf guides
Thank you and have a nice day.